The war in Ukraine spilling over the border, that missile that landed just over the Ukraine border in Poland, killing two. Tonight, what President Biden is saying, what the Pentagon now believes about that missile, and Russia's response. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge near that blast site in Poland tonight. Tonight, as investigators scoured the blast crater, U.S. military leaders agreeing with NATO allies that the missile that killed two people within Poland's borders was probably fired by Ukraine to intercept incoming Russian missiles. This explosion was most likely the result of a Ukrainian air defense missile that unfortunately landed in Poland. Poland's president calling it an unfortunate accident. The head of NATO agreeing. This is not Ukraine's fault. Uh, Russia bears the responsibility for what happened in, uh, in, in Poland yesterday. But in a rare disagreement with his allies, President Zelensky today saying, I have no doubt that it was not our missile and not our missile strike. Zelensky saying his assessment came from a briefing by his top commanders. The Ukrainian president requesting his officials join the investigation. We travelled close to where the missile landed. The Polish security services have closed off a large area up this road towards the site of the blast. The Polish military are here in numbers. It tells you how sensitive the investigation is. Here, fragments of the missile, according to local residents. But regardless of who fired it, the Pentagon and NATO saying Russia is ultimately responsible. Because Ukrainian air defence was responding after the Kremlin unleashed up to 100 missiles yesterday, the largest barrage in a single day since the war began. One Ukrainian air defence missile possibly missing its target and crashing down inside the Polish border, in turn spreading alarm through the NATO alliance with President Biden calling an emergency round table of world leaders at the G20 summit in Bali, but later acknowledging it was unlikely Russia fired the missile. And I'm going to make sure we figure out exactly what happened, and then we're going to collectively determine our next step as we investigate and proceed. Today, even the Kremlin praising Biden's, quote, restrained and professional reaction. And so let's bring in Tom Sufi Burridge. He joins us tonight from Poland, not far from the Ukrainian border. And Tom, the U.S. obviously aware that President Zelensky is insisting that it was not a Ukrainian missile that hit Poland, even though the U.S. and allies have now publicly said that they don't believe this was a Russian missile. It is a difficult position for the U.S., David. The Russians already making the most of the claim that it was a Ukrainian missile. Zelensky will be well aware of that. American officials saying tonight that the U.S. will continue to convey information to Ukraine as the facts on the ground come to light. But sources saying there is some frustration over Zelensky's position. David. All right, Tom Sufi Burridge in Poland tonight. Tom, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.